Carboxylic acids react with water, and they also react with strong bases like hydroxide or sodium hydroxide. In this video, I'm going to show you how to predict the products of these types of reactions, starting with the reaction between a carboxylic acid and water. In this reaction, the hydrogen atom that is on the end of the carboxylic acid, so the one that I'm highlighting right now, this hydrogen atom just gets transferred over to the oxygen atom of the water molecule. One of the products of this reaction is going to be the carboxylic acid without that hydrogen on the oxygen. When the hydrogen leaves the oxygen, it leaves the oxygen with a negative charge, and that's definitely an important part of this formula. You want to make sure that you include the negative charge on the oxygen, oxygen when you're drawing the products of this reaction. The other product of the reaction is the water molecule that's added that extra hydrogen. So instead of H2O, it is H3O because now it has an extra hydrogen. Adding that extra hydrogen gives the oxygen atom uh, a positive charge. And again, just like this charge, you absolutely have to include the charge on this product. Now with a strong base, like just the hydroxide ion, we get the same type of thing going on. So that hydrogen atom that's on the oxygen, I'm highlighting it right now, that hydrogen atom is just gonna get itself transferred on over to the oxygen of this hydroxide ion. And the first product that we're gonna draw is basically the same thing. We have this um, carboxylic acid that has lost the hydrogen on the oxygen. So again, there's gonna be a negative charge on that oxygen atom. The other product of this reaction is the OH group, this OH ion, hydroxide ion, but now it's got another hydrogen. So it's got two hydrogens instead of one. And maybe we wanna write it like this, OH2, but that's actually kind of funny. Um, we normally write this molecule as H2O, so it makes water. The movement of the hydrogen over to this OH minus, it does increase the charge. Um, just like we saw up here, we get a positive charge, but this already started with a negative charge to begin with. So when we give it the positive charge, it ends up making a neutral molecule. So no charge over here for this guy. Now this reaction right here with the, hydro with the hydroxide ion could be written in a couple of different ways. So another way you could see this reaction is what we're looking at right here. Instead of writing just the hydroxide all by itself, we're writing sodium hydroxide, so we've got that cation present. The sodium cation isn't actually doing anything in this reaction. The hydroxide ion is still the one that's doing stuff. So in, when we're um, predicting our products, we're still going to be, oh, let me highlight, we're still going to be removing the hydrogen from that oxygen atom, and we're still going to be making an oxygen with a negative charge. We're also still going to be combining the hydrogen from the carboxylic acid with the OH minus, the hydrogen from the carboxylic acid with the OH minus. So we're making water over here as well. What are we going to do about this sodium ion? Well, the sodium ion is just kind of there hanging out. Usually we write it hanging out in the vicinity of the oxygen with the negative charge. So usually we just kind of position them close together because they're attracted to each other due to their opposite charges. Um, you could also see this reaction done with KOH instead of NaOH, in which case you'd have a K plus ion over here. Um, but really, you know, recognize that this reaction is exactly the same as this reaction. Uh, all that we have that's different is that we're just showing the presence of the sodium ion uh, in the reactants and also in the products.